people, welcome to Large Mamuka Chats. How has been your day? Take a look at this beautiful beaded piece. Take a look at the fringe. Let's go right into the process of the fringe making. You need a beading needle. You need bigu beads or, or rice beads. It is also called pipe beads in some countries. You need your sand or seed bead. It's going to stop, uh, serve as a stopper in making the fringe. You equally need a small size of crystal beads. Okay, let's go right into the making. The first thing to do is to make a securing knot at the tail end of your thread. Then grab the spot you want the fringe to be made. I want my fringe to hide under the last bead here. So I'm going to pinch that piece. Yes, I've succeeded in doing that. I'm going to pinch again. Secure it. Create a loop. I already created a loop. Can you see that? Pass your needle through it. And tighten it. Pull it to be sure that your fringe is well secured and that it cannot fall off. So you can you can double knot it. Or you can knock it twice or more than twice. The next thing to do is that I, I cannot leave it hanging this way. I'm going to pass it underneath this bead. Let me take it close to you so you can see it. You can see that my beads, my fringe are coming under right underneath all this bead works here. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to pass it so that the bead, the thread will come from underneath, just as we have it in all of that ones. Okay. Each of these fringes are made of 15 glass beads. Then a crystal bead, seed bead, as a final stopper to the crystal bead. So now let's count our 15 beads. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15. Yeah, and I have my 15 bits now. So take a look at it closely. Let me take it close to you. I'm not going to over over string this thread with my bits. I'm going to leave a tiny room, a little room for the thread at the base. At the base here, I'm not going to pull pull my bead to get to the base of the thread here. I'm going to leave a tiny room for it so that it will give room for dangling of the bead. If I overpack it or tighten it so much, can you see the effect it has on the string? It's going to make the bead curve out and it's, go, it's not going to dangle freely as you can see the ones I've done are I've done dangling freely. Bits are meant to dangle freely and not to cover steam. Okay? Alright. Now I'm going to release my hands for my hand for it and loosen it up. The next thing to do is to pick my crystal bead. The one I'm using as a stopper, I'm going to put it at the base to make the 16th bead. Then, finally, 
I'm going to pick one sand bead or seed bead, any one you prefer to use as your final stopper. Then if you prefer to use real stopper, you can use it also. I don't have enough silver stopper, so that's why I'm using the seed, the sand bead for the final stopper. So now let me take it very close to your view so that you can see. Bring it close to your view. So right where the seed bead is, is I'm going to pass my needle into in between the threads. I have two string of thread. Can you see? I have two string of thread doubled as one. Can you see? So I'm going to pass my needle. I'm going to pass my needle in between the two beads. That is the crystal bead and the seed bead. I'm going to pass my needle in between them and pull this way. Can you see? This is what I have. Can you see it? Can you see? Okay. Now I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to tighten it. Yes, I want to knot it right there. Okay. Pass it. We all know how to knot. We are still knotting between the seed bead and the crystal bead. Pull it to make sure it's tight. After that, I'm going to pass my needle into the crystal bead. Then all the way up, count about four or three beads upward. Then pull it that way. Pull it tight. Can you see what I have? Yes, that is how to make a fringe then I'm going to cut it right cut it but be careful not to cut your fringe cut it as, as close as possible yes I have it cut out now so this is what I have can you see thank you very much for staying tuned till I see you again bye bye if you want to learn how to bead this luxury beaded work on the yoke of this beautiful dress contact me I have a class on that and how you can bead on Ankara fabric how you can also make a customized vest just like the one I'm putting